Hello everyone! Today we'll be reading Ari Arranges Everything, written by Katie Vernon. I'm Ari, and I have been arranging things all my life. When I was a baby, I would stack my blocks just so. As a toddler, I arranged the fleas on my dog's head. I arranged everything I could get my hands on. As I got bigger, the things I arranged got bigger too. I arranged all the flowers in our garden. Then I asked my neighbors if I could arrange their flowers. They didn't seem to mind too much. Pretty soon I had arranged every flower in town, from asters to zinnias. But I wasn't done. I arranged every fruit and vegetable at the market. I arranged the whole hardware store, including the kitchen sinks. I even arranged the kids at the pool and the afternoon jazzercise class and every unicorn stuffy at Unicornicopia. I loved all my arrangements, though I wasn't sure if they were loved by all. Still, I really wanted to create my ultimate arrangement, something grand, something that had never been arranged before. I planned, prepared, packed a small snack, and headed to the zoo. Everything was going perfectly. Until I noticed it wasn't perfect at all. Perhaps this zoo arrangement was the last straw which I also managed to arrange with the second and third to last straws. My ultimate arrangement was an utter disaster. I felt terrible, apologized, put everyone back and set out for home. I looked up at the clouds and realized maybe some things can never be arranged and that's okay. I walked by my neighborhood barbecue. It felt like a mess of adults and kids and pets and decorations and laughter and song. And I realized maybe some things don't need arranging and that's okay too. Feeling calmer and happier, I joined the party and didn't arrange a thing. That is unless you count dessert. We hope you enjoy today's story time. And we'll see you the next one.